Hey there, trust you're good today. We are back at the course, and today we move to module four. And in today's module, we shall be looking into NFT trading, its overview and explanation. Don't forget, anytime you feel lost, always refer to the course material I have put together for you in a PDF format. All right, let's get to class. If you're a total newbie and are wondering how to trade NFT with someone, the fundamental procedure is quite straightforward. The main goal is to buy an NFT from an online market and subsequently sell it for a profit. This process is called NFT flipping. You must locate appealing transactions that you think are undervalued to succeed as an NFT trader. For instance, you can come across a well-liked NFT collection that has a set price of $200 stated, but you have seen the same token sell for $900 on another market. In a similar vein, auctions offer a ton of NFT trading opportunities. Here, the goal is to provide a price below the NFT estimated value. The NFT can then be resold on a market for a profit. You must first create an account with a compatible marketplace, such as Crypto.com, to purchase an NFT. You will then need to look through the many NFT that are available, and once you find one that you like, you can deposit using ACH, a debit slash credit card, or cryptocurrency. The only remaining steps are to purchase the NFT or make a bid. Lesson 1. The Operation of NFT Trading There is no assurance that you will make money when trading NFT. Consider purchasing an NFT that you believe will sell for a high price in the future. However, in practice, it can remain for sale on an internet market with little demand from consumers. Alternatively, you might overpay for an NFT, which would require you to sell it for less than you paid for it initially. As a result, you must have a solid understanding of how this investment environment operates when learning how to trade NFT for profit. In the following sections, we delve into the fundamentals to help clear the air. NFT coining. An NFT must first be minted before it can be advertised for sale. Simply put, minting describes the action of producing an NFT. If you're curious about how to create and trade NFT, you can mint them yourself with only a few clicks on a website like Crypto.com. The minting procedure is necessary to make sure that the producer of the underlying product, whether it be a work of art, a piece of music, or a sports collection, can validate it as being one of a kind. Listing NFT Once an NFT has been produced, creators frequently choose to list it right away on an internet marketplace. You as an NFT trader, may help here. Simply said, you'll have the choice to purchase an NFT if you like the way it looks. The NFT will frequently be listed at a fixed price, although occasionally the author may decide to list the work on auction. If so, you will have to make a bid exactly like you would at an established online market like eBay. Purchasing an NFT You can make your purchase once you've decided which NFT you want to swap. For this purpose, a lot of NFT marketplaces only accept cryptocurrency deposits. To finish the transaction instantly, you can frequently attach a wallet like MetaMask to the platform. Some websites, like Crypto.com, allow users to deposit fiat money using ACH and debit slash credit cards. Flipping an NFT The following stage is trading an NFT after you have successfully purchased it. This refers to putting it up for sale on an internet market. The difference is that you will make sure the NFT listing costs more than you did the first time. You will only be able to profit from your NFT trading efforts in this way. For instance, if you purchase an NFT for $1,000 and sell it for $1,500, you will have made a sizable profit of 50% before costs. Some NFT designers will include a royalty throughout the minting process, as we briefly mentioned previously. This implies that they will receive a small portion of the sales revenue for each NFT in question. Lesson 2. How to Profit from NFT Trading The primary and secondary markets are essentially the two ways that NFT trading offers financial gain. To help you choose the ideal marketplace for your favorite NFT trading method, let's examine how each one operates. Basic NFT Markets when you purchase NFT from the primary marketplaces, you are doing so straight from the token's inventor. You will pay the same price as everyone else even though you will still need to use a third-party NFT marketplace like Crypto.com for this purpose. More specifically, because you are joining the market before people decide to relist the token at a higher price, you will probably pay the best price on the relevant NFT. For instance, 
we previously mentioned Lucky Block, which produced 10,000 distinct NFT with a variety of advantages. The Lucky Block NFT series, which offers an excellent long-term trading opportunity, is still in the primary sale at $1,500 as of the time of writing. NFT Secondary Markets Purchasers and sellers conduct business in the secondary market. Simply said, you must purchase NFT on a secondary market like Crypto.com if you want to purchase them after the collection has sold out via its initial listing. Particularly if you want to invest in a well-known collection, you'll probably pay more than the original listing price. However, if the NFT lists through an auction, you can still score a decent price by submitting a bid. You can sell your NFT for a set amount or through an auction listing to profit on the secondary market. In either case, you will turn a profit if your NFT brings in more money than you invested in it. Trading Hours for NFT Unlike traditional stock markets, NFT are available for purchase, sale, and trading every day of the week, 24 hours a day. After all, users from all around the world use well-known NFT marketplaces like Crypto.com and NFT Launchpad. As a result, there are no time limitations on when you can finish your buy if you see an NFT trading opportunity that you think could be successful. NFT Price Changes This trading environment is quite speculative and arbitrary when it comes to NFT pricing changes. In other words, how much people are willing to pay will decide the worth of your NFT. For instance, the Bored Ape Yacht Club collection was first listed for 0.08 ETH because its author placed a low value on each non-fungible token, less than $200. Bored Ape Yacht Club NFT were selling for six and seven figure sums, nevertheless, a few months later. And the reason for this is that there were far more NFT in demand than there were available for the series. However, most NFT struggle to sell because there is minimal demand from purchasers for them. The hardest element of the NFT trading process is therefore figuring out which collections have the best chance of succeeding. All right, module four is done. You've done a great job by sticking till this time. We have just one module to round up this course. Be sure not to skip it. See you in the next class. Bye.